What about the 41 million? Um, for the sewer? Yeah, how many years are you thinking that's going to go over? The, the, all the work when we, we first met with them, and said, okay, you've get, got to divide it into the highest priority, medium priority, and lowest priority, which they did for us. And it comes in <coughs> as a summation of about 13 million, 13 million, and whatever the remaining is. But of course, that'll go up. Um, what do I envision? If, if we could convince the voters to give us a 10 year note for 13 million, that would, be honest with you, um, kick it right in the, you know, give it a good jump start. Um, I can't see reasonably coming for, I would never ask for all 41 million. I just think it's, um, it would be too big of a nut to ask for the, for the residents. But I could see the 13 million or some major portion of that and at a term that is reasonable that you five people think is is reasonable <coughs> that the budget can can withstand or the town's lending and borrowing capability can stand but initially I would look to, for the 13 million mm -hmm. and um, what about what were you talking about about the taking in other people's sludge when you build a regional wastewater treatment facility um, and the state gives you the design permit, part of the requirements are that you have to design the plant to accept not only sludge from your um, residents, i.e. the out, like for instance, all the Muncie Drive, those are all septic systems. People on the outer portion of landing, uh, people way out in Rusty's neighborhood, all those people come in and um, you, you plant has to be sized to handle a certain amount of that. And when you do, you can also handle others. And, and we have an agreement and you've established the rates as to what other towns or, or other people coming in from other towns, what they would pay. But there is an upper limit as to what we can accept physically within the plant. Um, and we've seen, we have seen an increase because the Epping facility can no longer accept. They didn't, I don't exactly know why, but they've been cut off from the state from accepting uh, sludge residuals, septic residuals at their facility. And so part of it comes to us, part of it goes to South Berwick, part of it I'm sure goes to Dover, part of it might from the Epping area might even go up to Manchester. It gets, it gets spread around. Mr. Chairman, thank you, Director, Deputy Director. Uh, the $41 million that uh, um, is on the horizon that may or may not be uh, um, a hard number, but I would, I, would, uh, I would say that Rusty and I work down there as uh, children, and uh, not much has changed. True. And Rusty is a much younger man than I am, but it, um, he's, it's still been a while. And I would say, and I was going to save it for uh, under old business, but uh, our uh, completely civil and our completely um, uh, governmental pursuit uh, with the tort action that the vote, this, this board voted five to one, uh, with the $700,000 a year, uh, I will ask uh, Director Pulliam on behalf of the board to uh, crank out how much of that $700,000 a year that has not been challenged perennially by this town. Uh, would fund uh, a substantial portion of that um, burden that uh, is imminent in some way, uh, larger, shorter, whatever, but it's coming. The city of Portsmouth has a, a fiasco that's uh, some 70 or $80 million. So again, I would save it for uh, old business, but that's revenue, uh, and we get to the downsizing or downshifting of uh, this waste effluent. And there is no charge. Would you please share uh, uh, your experience with the Speaker of the House, the Minority Leader, uh, the Chief of Staff, and Mr. Welch about uh, uh, value enterprise systems for um, uh, charges for yeah. that effluent and, and what the Town of Hampton does now and what, uh, what the Town of Hudson does? Thank you. Yeah. We're one of the few communities in the state that does not have or does not send out regular sewer bills. Uh, when I resided in Dover as a young man, every quarter I got a water bill, I got a sewer bill. Sewer bills were based upon the percentage of the water that you used. Um, 
what that you can do with that, and, and it, it, I operated under this in Summersworth, was all the sewer fees and all the water fees that were collected, uh, those bills went to enterprise funds, which were intended to be uh, self-supporting, <coughs> self-sufficient, so that if you knew through a, a plan to study, uh, your facilities plan, which you normally do anywhere from seven to ten years, for a wastewater treatment plant, you'd see these things coming up, and you'd say, okay, the rates have to be adjusted. Uh, it's cheaper for everyone to buy in early rather than wait for us to borrow the money. And there, there would be a, 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 uh, an, uh, an incremental increase in the, the sewer rates and or the water rates to offset those projects that need to get done. One, some of them are uh, just to replace aged equipment, I'll give you, for instance, all the effluent when it dumps in the plant, there's three huge motors. They're as tall as, as rusty. Um, these are the same pumps that have been there since 1974. Two of them operate constantly, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. They have never, some of them have never shut off. Since I've been here, we've taken number two pump, the middle one, out, had it serviced because um, it, uh, the seals started leaking. It actually started uh, losing uh, grease or oils out of the top part. But those are the same pumps that have been in there. That's just one. It's amazing that they would last that long. It goes to the quality of what we bought. But there's other plants that have had that those types of things replaced two and three times in the same lifespan. We have not at all. And they're not the only pumps that are in there that are still from this 1974 or 78 or other upgrades. You've got some pretty aged equipment in there. Um, so without um, an enterprise fund, if, if you will, separate tax bills um, just for water and sewer, um, we're left with the only other opportunity is bonding that I can see. Um, reasonably, we do have a uh, we do have a sewer access fee that you've initiated back in May of 2012, but it's only intended to offset those people buying into and using up the plant's capacity that that were never, if you will, taxpayers before, like new condos or new new homes uh, where raw land gets developed. So we, we only have a few choices. Um, if we tried to go to an enterprise fund, it would have to be a uh, revisit how we have a tax structure within the town of Hampton. But um, for people, um, you know, if you owned a laundromat in town, um, it's fantastic. You, you don't pay a sewer bill. That's a great business to have for a municipality like, like in Hampton. Uh, I know some of the sewer bills I sent out for laundromats in, in Summersworth, $40,000 a year. Here they're only paying, you know, whatever their property tax is, covers it. And um, so other, and other businesses, I'm sure, enjoy that same benefit, and it's probably an attractant to Hampton. But... I can guide you through that process. Uh, I can work with you on that process, but ultimately how to change our billing structure or tax structure with respect to our sewer utility um, ultimately is the board's decision. Thank you, Director, for sharing that. And I was uh, I was surprised to hear that from the speaker, and uh, I know that you are much more familiar of it. And going forward, I, I think uh, that, uh, that notion, that platform is something that uh, the town of Hampton should investigate. I appreciate that very much. We were to investigate and talk to do that. Would it be possible to do it for something over usage, over a certain amount of usage? Or is that going to be? It, it, it could be. Um, so, like, for instance, not a regular four family. Well, for instance, in the solid waste area, you can bring up to 1,000 pounds to the transfer station and no charge. Right. After 1,000 pounds, we start to charge you. Could you do the same thing with wastewater? Yes, you could. Um, on the high 
volume users, you'd either have to have a way of metering their water usage or get Aquarian to cooperate and send us their water bills okay. to, to do something like that. And it is not uncommon for people who give um, high strength waste to the, um, be it um, too hot, difficult pH, too much BOD, there is rules within our present ordinance that you can enact a surcharge fee on those people. Okay. But that's a very limited group of people. Thank you. Yep. Yeah.